Hey guys, it's Ross. We're here in the front of the yard. Very busy street that I live on and uh, I don't get a lot of time to film over here because it's so busy and so loud, but we have things over here like blueberries that uh, I've been picking on and, and eating and really just enjoying. I can't believe that these are quite different from the store. Uh, to me, these taste a lot like blueberry pie, like that blueberry pie flavor that you almost think is like fake, but it's really what blueberries taste like, at least should taste like. I feel like I'm eating blueberry pie. It's crazy how ripe these can get when you pick them yourself. This is called Drapper, this blueberry. And these are all high bush blueberries. Perfect for this area. And I just love coming out here and snacking on these. Um, my girlfriend's gonna kill me that I'm eating all the blueberries. But in the front here, in this bed, we also have many more blueberries. As you can see, they're not yet formed yet. Really some incredible clusters. This guy down here has been ripening in a very strange way. This is Chandler, and it's been putting out, you know, one or two blueberries here and there. It's crazy. You can see the size of Chandler, much bigger than a Drapper. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I really love these blueberries, guys. You just need to give them some acidic soil. Plant them in peat moss. Maybe amend the soil a little bit with some uh, acidifier. And you're good to go. Um, I guess before I leave this bed, we also have asparagus that's coming up. Young asparagus that is really planted in a quite shady area but it's coming out now and it's it is gonna get some Sun and hopefully it'll mature before I move out of here we also have persimmons in that bed and honeyberries and gooseberries and lavender and all kinds of stuff guys so anyway I hope you enjoyed that little video back to the backyard where there's more work to be done I'll talk to you guys later take care